Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com New Windows 10 build to look at This is build 19555 for Windows Insiders on the fast ring uh, Not a huge amount to show you on this one This is a uh, bug fix build essentially um, and, But I do like to document these videos, uh, these builds And I've got them going right back to the very first previews of Windows 10 You can find those on our YouTube channel So any builds you can see them on here Right, so what's changed in this build? Like, well, like I said, it's mainly a bug fix build. So um, I'm running it here as a VM on or a Hyper-V session on my Surface Laptop 2. And um, a very quick install, actually, probably one of the quicker ones. I don't know whether that's just uh, because I wasn't watching it or if it is actually quicker. But what can I tell you that's changed in this build? Well, so what are the bug fixes in this build? Well, um, when you're plugging a... Um, USB 3 drive in for the past uh, quite a few builds, probably for about a month or so, it's come up with a um, well, it's come up with an error and you've not been able to uh, get the, at the data. They fixed that. Uh, something else they fixed, which I think is a good feature, is a the cloud recovery option. So if you've ever done reset this PC, uh, there is a cloud recovery option now that will drag the image down from the cloud from Microsoft rather than. Um, trying to reassemble the files from your local machine. I've got a separate video of this if you're interested. Actually, go on the YouTube channel and you can have a look for that. But anyway, that wasn't working in this build, uh, in previous builds, but that's um, that's been fixed now. So uh, this is cloud recovery, so it's going to ask me whether I want to do a local recovery or a cloud recovery. Uh, they fixed an issue where some ARM64 devices will not be able to get the update. Um, there you go, the cloud recovery. So that may be the Surface Pro X or something like that. They fixed an issue with protection history and Windows security. They fixed an issue with the print dialog not previewing correctly. They fixed some uh, issues with the start menu and the app's not opening. Um, so if you were listening to music uh, and uh, you unlocked your, p your machine while music was playing and then you tried to use the start menu, it wouldn't work. And they fixed some issues with the alignments on text in the Windows update screen. So that's all the, the fixes in this. There are still some known issues, some uh, that might cause more issues than others. And a couple of new ones, actually. One of them is that they're seeing issues where you can the machines will no longer sleep when idle. So they've they've investigated that and found the fix for that, but it's not coming to the next build. So uh, your machine might not go to sleep um, itself. There's the old ones knocking around, like the Battle Lion to Cheat software, the narrator uh, issues with certain web pages... Uh, IME uh, for East Asian IMEs has still got issues as well and um, there's some insider build errors um, that, or some errors that you get when you start installing the build as an insider they've still seen some issues with that as well and uh, still an, an old one is that they're looking to update uh, reports the update process hanging for extended periods when installing a new build like I said I've, this one worked really well no problems installing this build so that's it actually, that's all the changes. Um, there's not a huge amount going on for Windows Insiders at the moment to test. We hope there's going to be some big features coming soon. Maybe that will come with Windows 10X, we'll have to wait and see. But if they're, they're here, if you, they're, so if they arrive you'll see them here on our YouTube channel along with uh, all the other Insider changes plus gadget reviews and router reviews and all sorts. So check out our channel. You can find me on Twitter at isdixon on the digitallifestyle.com.